Hello children and welcome back to mathematics class for class 7. We will be continuing with the chapter 13 exponents and powers. So uh, in the last class we have <coughs> done a few questions in exercise 13.2. We will be continuing with the same exercise. Let's look at the question, question number 3. <coughs> So in the question, <clears throat> it says, say true or false and justify your answer. So they have given us some questions here. 10 into 10 to the power 11 is equal to 100 to the power 11. <clears throat> so we have to say whether this is true or false. So what we will do is we will first look at LHS. LHS means left H is hand and S is side. Left hand side, okay? <clears throat> so left hand side we have 10 into 10 to the power 11. Same base, so no power is given means it is 1 plus 11. So we will get 10 to the power 12. For the other side, so if this is LHS, this will be RHS, right hand side, okay? <clears throat> So your right hand side is 100 to the power 11 and this I can write as 10 into 10 to the power 11. 10 into 10 means 100. This I can also write as 10 1 plus 1. Same base at the power. All right. So 10 to the power 2, 11. Now power of powers, that means multiply the two powers we get 10 to the power 22. So here we have 10 to the power 12, LHS 10 to the power 12, RHS 10 to the power 22. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS, all right? So we can say that this is <coughs> false, all right? It is false. That means this is equal to this is false. All right, so this is the <coughs> first type. Now, the rest of the questions are same. You simply have to simplify, all right? The re rest of the questions are rather easier. Simplify the numbers that have been given and compare it, and you will see whether it is true or false, all right? So with that, we will end this exercise. Let's move on to the next exercise that is exercise 13 point okay before we go to the next exercise let's look at a few more questions question number four express each of the following as a product of prime numbers only in exponential form so i will be doing only one or two questions here 102 so we have to find first the prime factorization 2 into 5, 10, 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 7, 3 into 9, <coughs> again 3, 3, 3, 3, 1. That means 1, 0, 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. And 1, 9, 2, 2, 9, 18, 2, 6, 2, 4, 2, 8, 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. So, 192, I can write as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 3. So, <coughs> 108, I can write as 2, 2 times, 3, 3 times. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 6 times and 3, 1 time. All right. So finally, this expression can be written as 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 3. In place of 108, now I will write this. In place of 196, I will write this. All right. So finally, I can write 2, 2, same. So 2 base, uh, sorry, the powers you add into 3, 3 and 1, 3 plus 1. So you will get 2 to the power 8 into 
3 to the power 4. So this is your final answer, right? So similarly for other questions also you will solve in this manner. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to question number 5. Let's move to question number five. Simplify. Simplify means make it simple. So the first question is two to the power five to the power two into seven to the power three by eight to the power three into seven. So this is your question. First, look at this number. We will Simplify it first. Power of powers, so multiply the powers into 7 to the power 3 by this 8, I can write 2 into 2 into 2 to the power 3 into 7. Alright? 2, you multiply 3 times, you get 8. Alright? Uh, let's start here. 2 to the power 10 into 7 to the power 3. All right, by here we have two three times, two three times. But again, the whole power is three. So I will write like this. Now power of powers again, two to the power ten into seven to the power three by two three into three into seven. All right. Now this will become two to the power ten into seven to the power three by two to the power three into three is nine into. 7. So, these two base is same. Divide, so subtract the power exponent, sorry, and base same, subtract the exponents. So, final answer will be 2 to the power 1 into 7 to the power 2, or we can write it as 2 into 7 to the power 2. Alright? And since this is simplify, I'm so sorry, since this is simplify, 2 into 7 into 7, so you will write 2 into 49, 49 into 2, 2, 9, 18, 2, 4, 8, 9. So you are getting the answer as 98. Since it is simplify, you have to solve and multiply to find the final answer. All right. <coughs> so this is the end of this question. Now, question number one. Write the following numbers in expanded form. All right. Now, we're going to write in expanded form. Let's write 279404. So, this we have to write in expanded form. Okay. So, <clears throat> to write this in expanded form, we will write in this manner. First, take two. Always start from here. Two in two. Now, count the number of digits after two. One, two, three, four, five. Now, so... You first write 1, and then since there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 digits, so put 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? 2 into this plus. The next digit is 7. Now take 7. Count the number of digits and multiply with number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right? Now look at 9. Write 9 into 1. And then after 9, count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3. We have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Okay? So similarly, plus, I'm continuing this, 4 into 1, 1, 2. So 1, 2, plus this 0, 0 into 1, only one place. So 10 and 4. After 4, we don't have any numbers, so 1. Okay, so this is your expanded form. Or we can also write in this manner 2 into 10. Okay, 10 and then we have to count the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 to the power 5 plus 7. 7 into 10 to the power 4 plus 9 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3. So 3 plus 4 into 10 to the power, two zeros, that's why 
2. And 0 into 10, we do not have to write also. Just for your understanding, I will write 0 into 10 to the power 1, all right? And finally, 4 into 10 to the power 0. 4 into 1. 1 is equal to same, all right? So we can write in that manner also, all right? <clears throat> so with that, this question is over. Let's move on to the next question. Let's look at another example. 3006194. The same thing, expanded 3 into 1. You write the 1, count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you put 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Plus this 0. 0 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus again 0. And 4. Plus 6 into 3. All right? Plus 1 into 2. Plus 9 into 1, 0. Plus 4 into 1. Or this we can write as 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since this is 6, 10 to the power 6 plus 0 into 10 to the power 5 plus 0 into 10 to the power 4 plus 6 into 10 to the power 3, you can check, plus 1 into 10 to the power 2 plus 9 into 10 to the power 1. And finally, 4 into 1 can be written as 10 to the power 0. All right? So with this, we will... <coughs> wind up with this question so the next question is question two find the number from each of the following expanded forms so the question is just the opposite now the opposite of question one which we just did now this is given the expanded form is given from the expanded form we have to find the number so this is your answer, uh, your question A. This can be written as 8 into 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 6 into 1,000, plus 0 into 2 zeros means 100, 4 into 10, <coughs> 5 into 1, all right? So this will be 8, 0, 0, 0, 0. You multiply, you get this much. This you multiply, you get... This, you will get 0, plus 4 into 10 is 40, plus 5 into 1 is 5. So, to form the number, you simply have to add all the numbers. 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros, 6, 0, 3 zeros, 0, no need to write, 40 and 5. So, you add this, 5, 4, 0, 6, 8. So, your final number is 8, 6, 0, 4, so this is how you form a number from expanded uh, forms, okay? Let's move on to the next question. Let's try to understand an, this concept by solving another question. The next question is B. 4 into 10 to the power 5 plus 5 into 10 to the power 3 plus 3 into 10 to the power 2 plus 2 into 10 to the power 0. So this I can write as 4 into 5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5 into 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3, plus 3 into 2 zeros, and 2 into 1. So if you multiply these two, you get 5 zeros, <coughs> 5,302. So... I will write like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, and then 302. Add all this, you get 2, 0, 3, 5, 0, 4. So your final answer is 4, 0, 5, 3, 0, 2. All right? So similarly, for all the uh, other questions, it's going to be in the same way. Please practice. You will be able to solve the questions quite easily. All right. Question number three is, it's given 
as a big number and they have asked us to write this in the standard form all right so your standard form will be like this first write five okay into now five into one it will be it will always come like this okay five into one if this is six six into one if this is seven seven into one all right now after one you will consider how many zeros to put so to know the number of zeros to put here just count the digits here one two three four five six seven so 10 to the power 7 all right so 5 into 10 you always write and the number of zeros will be according to the number of digits here okay so let's look at the other example also so we have this so i'm going to take 7 7 into 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 zeros, so I will write 6, uh, six power exponent. Okay? Similarly, now, if I want to write <coughs> for this, 3, 1, 8, 65, 0, 0, 0. See? As we have been doing, we can do like this, 3, 1, 8, 6, 5. All the numbers I took together into 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? But if you do like this, this is not in the standard form. This is not in the simple simplest form, okay? So what we will do is, we will take only one digit first, point, 1, 2, all this, okay? 3.8. That means before the decimal point, only one digit. After the decimal point, there may be as many digits as it, uh, as it, as it may be, okay? And now you multiply. But to put the exponent, you have to start counting from here because you put a point here, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you will write 10 to the power 9, okay? Similarly, question 4. 3,90,878. Since I want 3.90878, since I want only one place before the decimal, all right? So I got only three point. After point, how many digits do we have? Nine, one, two, three, four, five. So into 10 to the power 5. All right? Similarly, 5. 39087.8 Now this is also same thing 3 point okay 3 point and please look here the in the question the point is here 7.8 so i'm moving this point 1 2 3 4 and then point right so 90878 into since i moved 1 2 3 4 Four places to the left, you will put four, all right? So this is all about exponents and powers. This is the uh, expanded form. We have learned about the expanded form. We have learned about the standard forms. So this, the final uh, questions which we have done is about uh, standard forms. So, so far we have understood about exponents and powers, all right? So this is the application of all the laws that we have learned about so far, the standard forms that we have learned. So <clears throat> please try to practice harder, practice daily. And this chapter is going to be very easy for you, all right? So I'll see you again very soon. Please take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.